So we are going to start project planning in action means we have already developed our project plan. Now we need to think about the implementation of the plan. So we, what we have already learned, if you make the summary, then we will find project plans are usually constructed by listing the sequence of activities required to carry the project from start to completion and developing an action plan to complete the activities. So this is the summary what we have already learned. Now we will use uh, examples that how project uh, planning uh, really uh, reach to an action. We have one example you see in front of you that is related to software, software and hardware develop developers. So what they consider or what they consider commonly uh, in a planning process. Uh, we have already uh, learn about project life cycle. I have shared uh, this video also with you. Have you seen the project life cycle uh, videos as well? Someone can reply. I have already shared project life cycle uh, uh, lectures with you guys. Have you seen that? Project life cycle. Yes, sir. Nobody. So when it is a software and hardware developers, what they do, they have the concept evaluation, requirements identification, then design, then implementation, then test. So if you want to start a restaurant project, a restaurant project, then what do you have to do? You see that you saying you need to develop your concept that uh, related to your place, related to your capital, related to your menus and dot, 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 dot. dot. So <clears throat> once your concept is ready, then you have to identify all the requirements. So all the requirements are related to what? Again, you need resources. So requirement identification means resources. Resources, again, I have divided in my prior discussion that you need to think about human resources, financial resources, physical resources, even intangible resources means your goodwill and others. So if you can identify what you need, now it is the time to fulfill, fulfill, fill your requirements. And that's why you need a design. What does it mean? You want to design the way you want to fill the need of human resources, feel the need of financial resources, feel the need of physical resources. Once your design is complete, then you can go for implementation. And at the time of implementation, you can't start the whole project as a final project. You need to take some time Uh, how many points you have got? Because the connection was disconnected, yeah? I was talking about restaurant as a project. So I have covered concept evaluation, requirements identification, design, and implementation. And, and when you go for implementation, I said you should not implement as a complete project. You need to go for the test. Test of what? Suppose you 
have fixed some menu. So you should not start to prepare menus commercially. What you have to do, you have to offer these menu to family members, relatives, neighbors, and friends. If you pass here, if everybody says or 80 to 90% reply positively, that means test is all right. And then now uh, you can accept the project as a whole project, as a, as a, as a, as a successful one that you can really implement. Otherwise not, that, that's what I mentioned.